like, I think I was 15 when I, like, was really popping on Wattpad. I have an account with, like, over 500 followers, and, like, one of my, uh, the, one of the books that I wrote has, like, 300,000 reads, and another one has, like, 100,000, like, I was kind of, I was kind of there. I was kind of in the scene, um, but if I was, like, Oh yeah, my MacBook is directly behind 
the, the camera so every time I'm like leaning into your body and soul it's because I'm touching my MacBook so I have to get like all up in your business to scroll sorry about it oh the microphone okay so there's going to be swear words and cussing so if you don't find that relaxing this is not the video for you this is some fluff I think it's between Reader and Namjoon Namjoon is RM from BTS Yeah, we're on a first name basis Basically You took a deep breath Shutting your eyes to calm yourself down You really hated social interaction But you needed to do the right thing You pressed the doorbell Your finger shaking slightly Soon the door opened Revealing your shockingly dull neighbor Namjoon He raised his eyebrows in surprise Not used to seeing you your name, he spoke. I'm gonna make reader British, okay? So that you know when you, the reader, is speaking because you are British now. Um, I have your cat, he spoke, cutting right to the chase. Namjoon's face lit up instantly. You have buttons. Where'd you find him? He asked, his eyes wide and fully focused on you. He was sniffing around my garden. He's at my house right now. I didn't bring him because I wasn't sure if you were home. You mumbled an explanation. Your shyness preventing you from speaking eloquently. Mr. Buttons, I'm coming for you, he muttered to himself, shutting his door behind him and walking past you to your house across the street. You hurried after him, trying to get ahead of him so you could open your door. I'm sorry for the mess, Mr. Kim. I didn't exactly have time to clean up. You rush out, unlocking your door and allowing the dull man to enter your house. You can call me Nam June, he spoke, stepping inside your house and subtly looking around. So, where is he? I, uh, I'm not sure. You stepped out of your shoes and entered your living room, clicking your tongue to call for the cat. Buttons. Buttons, where are you, buddy? Nam June called out, looking for the animal with you. The man stepped out of his shoes and entered your kitchen, peeking under the table for the mischievous cat. Buttons. Shoot, I'm really sorry about this, Mr. Ki uh, Numjoon. I didn't think I'd lose him. You apologized awkwardly. It's okay, your name. I'm just glad you found him. At least now I finally get a chance to get to know you. I'm about to start crying, you guys. The man smiled at you, his adorable dimples captivating your gaze. How'd you lose Buttons anyways? You asked in curiosity, getting on the floor to look under the couch. It's really stupid, Namjoon laughed. I burnt some hash browns really badly and opened my window to air out my house and Buttons kind of just jumped out. Hash browns, you giggled. That sucks. It does. It was the last thing I had in my fridge, so I had to eat sleep for dinner. Namjoon joked, rubbing the back of his neck nervously. Hey, my god. He burst out in laughter. I thought you were too rich to eat sleep. I'm a teacher. It's all I can afford. Namjoon pointed out, eliciting more giggles from you. What do you teach? You questioned, warming up to the sweet man. History to a bunch of college kids, he answered. Hey, can I get a drink or something? Mr. Buttons is an expert at hide and seek. Of course. God, I feel like such a bad host. What do you want? Do you have coffee? Yeah, yeah. You entered your kitchen. Namjoon following and began making some coffee. Do you want to just sit and wait for buttons to come out? You asked, wanting to get to know Namjoon better. Yeah, I'd like that. Namjoon smiled. <laughs> Sitting at the table. So, how long have you had buttons? You spoke, making conversation while the coffee brewed. Me and buttons go way back. Namjoon smiled pleasantly. I love him more than anything. I'd die for him. That's so sweet, you commented, your heart aching at how adorable your neighbor is. Buttons is my whole life. He's my ride or die, Namjoon continued. But I'm sure you're sick of that talking about Mr. Buttons. Tell me about you. You sat down with Namjoon, handing him his cup of coffee and setting creamer and sugar on the table. I'm not 
not sick of Button, so I get why you love him so much. He's an adorable little grey fluff ball. You, you smile, sipping at your cup. I'm so glad you said that. I could never be friends with someone who hated my cat. Namjoon spoke, his face serious. Oh, are we friends now? You teased, admiring the man's delightful aura. Of course, you found buttons. I owe you my life, Namjoon shrugged. So, what do you do? I'm studying to be a vet. I'm interning at the place down on Geranium Street. <laughs> you replied, staring into your steamy beverage. You keep giving me more and more reasons to like you. <laughs> Namjoon spoke, his kind words bringing a smile to your face. This was nice. <laughs> That's it, love. <laughs> that was... That was really bad. That was really bad. <laughs> right, what else do I have cooking over here? Now I'm like stuck in the British accent. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. Some of the stuff I wrote, you guys. Absolutely atrocious. So I'm gonna find something that's not atrocious. I'm only reading you guys the stuff that's not published because if you knew what I'd published, you'd be like, Whisper Peace, how could you put this online? And I'd be like, well, the same reason I'm putting this online. I have no shame. Actually, I have shame, but um, I cannot comprehend the concept of a digital footprint. Um, I did this thing a lot where I would like start writing a story. So, and then just like not, I just wouldn't do it. Um, so a lot of these are like first chapters. Um, this one is a Yoon Min, which is Yoongi from BTS, also known as Suga, and Jimin from BTS, and I shipped them. I actually didn't ship anybody in BTS. Well, that's a lie. I did. But I did not ship Yoon Min. I was just obsessed with Yoongi, but didn't want to write a reader insert because it felt disrespectful. And yet, somehow, a ship felt less disrespectful. Should we be writing fictional things about real people? Yoongi stared at Osok, his expression completely blank. 
the door up further and swiftly slid under it. The loud noise of the door dropping to the ground making Josh stiffen before he stood up and peeked through the garage window. On the street he saw two boys with bottles in their hands stumbling toward the house. Tyler, one of them whisper yelled before taking a drink. Taking a drink. Alright, you got suspended, you fucking idiot. The boy laughed. Oh my god! I wrote a bullying scene! I'm, I'm gonna skip this part. I was really emo back then, and... Oh wow! Well, I'm not gonna skip this part. Um, yeah, so basically I wrote a bullying scene. I've never been bullied, like, this way. What was I on about? Anyways, we'll miss you at school. It's hard to find someone as weird as you, the other one added loudly. It'll be hard without you, die guy. I can't imagine kicking anyone else in the gut, one of them slurred. Josh bit his lip in confusion. He had no idea what was going on, and he really should be going for that TV. But the situation at hand seemed way more interesting. Maybe it was because he was a Gemini. Maybe it was because he lived for drama. It was probably both. Suddenly, Tyler walked outside, his arms crossed closely up against his chest. I imagine Tyler's posted up like this. <laughs> Just like that. I know, because I wrote this. What do you guys want? It's the middle of the night, Tyler asked shakily. We just wanted to see how you were doing, one stated, finishing his beer and throwing the empty bottle at Tyler. Tyler dodged the bottle with a shriek, the glass shattering behind him loudly. Brendan, stop! Of course it's Brendan Urie. Of course. Tyler yelped as the same boy who threw the bottle lunged at him, pinning him to the ground. Tyler's head slammed against the driveway and he cried out in pain. But me and Pete just want to make up for all the time we'll miss with you. Brendan laughed, landing a bunch right in the center of Tyler's face. Tyler groaned at the feeling before coughing, spraying blood across the ground as Pete pushed Brendan to the side. I wrote to something quite rude. Redacted. Pete spat, kicking Tyler's side repeatedly. Tyler cried out in pain as blood continued pouring out of his nose. I'm sorry, I'm laughing because it's bad. Josh couldn't stand watching the abuse any longer, so he grabbed a shovel from the wall in the garage and slid under the door. Oh shit, Brennan whispered, his smile dropping at the sight of a random guy with a shovel approaching them. Pete looked up at Josh and his face paled before Josh could even say anything. The two boys ran off, leaving Tyler on his driveway, passed out. Josh dropped the shovel and picked Tyler up. The boy's limp body, heavy in the older man's arms. Not knowing what to do, Josh began walking back to his motel, still holding Tyler. He is kidnapping him. Oh god, you guys. Oh god. I have to stop. This is getting bad. Never trust a 15-year-old's judgment. Never. Never. Okay, guys, thank you so much for sitting with me uh, through this little cringe fest called um, my old fanfic. I really appreciate you spending time relaxing today. I hope you are both relaxed and amused. That's my main goal. To amuse you.